Sean, Sean Davis co-founded The Federalist. We had him on, I think, earlier this week. He's great. Came back. Sean Davis, great to see you tonight. So if you're Don Lamon, there's, I mean, you know, you host a primetime show. It's okay to have opinions. What, why not just admit that you you hate Trump and you're a Democratic partisan, which he transparently is. Why don't you say so? Well, I think you got to cut him some slack. The guy's trying to beat out SpongeBob SquarePants reruns on Nickelodeon at night. I mean, what's a guy got to do? Good but point. I, you raise you raise a good point, which is that there's nothing wrong with having a perspective and having a point of view. The problem is when you have that and then you lie about it, which is what right. we see from the Post and CNN and the New York Times and everyone else. They just exactly. won't be honest. And it's not I, I don't know if it's because they think we're stupid or they think their audience is stupid, but everyone knows it. They're biased. We know it. They know it. And they know we know it. And it's time for them to just acknowledge it and move on. Well, that's I don't think I've spent a single minute this year being mad at Rachel Maddow. Don't agree with anything she says, but she's pretty straightforward about who she is. She's a Democratic partisan. You know, she's the most powerful person in the Democratic Party. That's fine. You know, she's not lying about it. Why wouldn't it just be easier? Wouldn't it be better on the conscience? Wouldn't the ratings be higher if CNN would stop lying about who they are? Absolutely. And you, you can actually see it in the ratings. That's why MSNBC does uh, as well as it's been doing, is that they're honest about it. They say, look, yeah. we are left-wing partisans. We're not ashamed of it. And this is our point of view, and here you go. And yet, for some reason, CNN, which in many ways is even more partisan, more deranged, yes. and more delusional than MSNBC, wants to pat itself on the back and pretend like they're somehow independent arbiters of facts, when in reality, they're just a bunch of partisan hacks. It's, it's, just, it's just interesting. And then they'll, they'll whip around and, you know, look at other news organizations like this one and say, well, you know, you've got... You know, a distinction between news and primetime, which we do have famously, but they don't. I mean, it's not at all clear where the reporting starts and ends and where the opinionizing starts and ends. I mean, it all kind of bleeds together. Well, that's because so much of their reporting actually is opinionating. And I think that's the really damaging thing that's happening in media now, is that the narrative has been made uh, the most important priority. And when you have a narrative you want to push, it doesn't matter if the facts are there or not, you're going right. to cook up the facts. And, and so CNN has decided they have the narrative that orange man bad and bad orange man has to go. And it doesn't matter what reality is, that's what they're going to stick to. And there's a reason people don't trust them. There's a reason the media's ratings and credibility are in the tank. And organizations like CNN, uh, are, they're primarily responsible for it. And if they were just honest, if they were just honest right. about who they are and what they want, I think people would cut them a lot of slack. I completely agree. It's the lying. It's the cover-up. It's the insulting disingenuousness. It's the falseness. It just makes you want to, you know, throw a beer bottle through the TV. So last thing, if you see Don Lamon, will you tell him to just be who he is and fess up and stop lying? I see him all the time, so I'll tell him that when I see him again. I, I, I knew you would. Sean Davis, great to see you tonight. Thank you. Thank you. It's the end of the week.